Hola YouTube, my name is Marcelo and this is Four Seasons Adventures. Today we are in Rhine, the most trendy neighborhood in Denver, but also it has a huge controversy. I'm going to tell you all about it, so please stay with us. To get to Rhino from downtown Denver, just take Broadway North. As soon as you pass under this bridge, you are in Rhino, short for River North. Modern apartment buildings dominate the scenery, but also there are commercial buildings, like Industry, a four acres building center. Rhino is a really nice place, but there is a controversy about how it's being developed. You see, all this area used to be part of the historic black neighborhood of Five Points. But about 20 years ago, some artists started to move into warehouses and transforming them into art studios. And soon, Big corporations started to buy properties, demolish them, and build new apartments and businesses. Many neighbors and advocates of Five Points describe this change as gentrification. The process where the rich displace the poor people from their houses and buy their properties. This is the source, a hotel with restaurants and other stores. A very popular destination when we are not in a war pandemic. But beyond the controversy, Rhino is a beautiful place to live, visit, and spend some time wandering around. There is a saying over here in Rhino that if you throw a rock, it's gonna hit a brewery. And they don't lie. There is a brewery right there on the corner, right divided over here, mockery right on the corner. Something else. There is also a Colorado beer company that you probably heard of. Yes, Blue Moon Brewing Company. This is a great place to grab a beer and chat with friends. Also, in no COVID-19 times, you can take a tour of the factory. Just a few blocks to the southeast, there is another commercial street that attracts locals and tourists alike. Vladimir Street. And we are in the middle of Vladimir Street. And according to the city of Denver, this side is Rhino. And this side is Five Points. For now. As you see, there is a reason why this is called the Art District. Every piece of flat wall is a perfect canvas for the artist. The area is loaded with restaurants, bars, and shops. Denver Central Market, a must-visit place. Mmm, look at those pastries. But there are more than sweets over here. You have a meat market, a pizza place, and a place to get drinks, in case you're thirsty. After eating and drinking, this is a nice place to take a walk. Such a beautiful day today, 55 degrees. I couldn't ask for a better weather today. Perfect walk around. 
you will notice that there are many repurposed warehouses. Wow, look at this. Wow. Yes, beautiful indeed. As you continue exploring the streets towards the southeast, the historic Five Points neighborhood starts to appear. The Victorian style is all over the place. They are just beautiful, aren't they? This is like going back in time. But here and there, modern houses are starting to pop up. This is the famous Welton Street. From the 1920s into the 1950s, this was the heart of the African-American culture. To a degree, the Five Points was called the Harlem of the West. This is a beautiful area to explore on foot. Here is the former Rossonian Hotel. It had what it was considered at the time the best jazz club between the Midwest and the West Coast. If walking around made you hungry again, this is a nice place for pizza. And you can get it by the slice on the side window. Such a beautiful neighborhood. It would truly would be a shame if it disappears. But the question to be asked is, how long do you think it's gonna resist the pressure from the corporations, which the only purpose is to build apartment buildings? I don't know. We'll see. And with this, we're gonna call it a wrap. I hope you liked the video and you give it a thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for your support, and we'll see you soon.